All right, we are back and looking at some pizza abstractions that are necessary. Uh, one of the things I've totally forgotten to do, boop, commit. So I'm going to add this as an environment following the GitHub refactoring. It's an on-code change. So we're just updating our systems. So <clears throat> this is our environment change and that's okay. And that's something we need to do. So. And then we remember, if applied, this commit will update the package references to the current versions. Um, we also add for the restrictions. There you go, extra load note that's not terribly important. And I screwed that up. Uh, I didn't want to commit that one. I didn't. <sighs> oh well. Um, so I, I, I kind of screwed that up. Can I revert this? Revert this commit. Excellent. Okay, here we go. Not, 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 not exactly what I was wanting to do. I reverted the root. Yeah, okay. Anyway, um, <laughs> so we should be careful about what we're doing. Pay attention. This is why pair programming is fantastic. You don't do stupid little things that screw a lot of stuff up. Because now I have no comments about my pizza. -ing. I'm sad about that. I really am. Uh, yeah, I, I am quite, quite sad, um, about having done that. Uh, is there anything I can do, should do, no, all right, all right. Let's recognize that I was a bit of a dumb and did some dumb things and that I didn't want to and continue on with, uh, what we're trying to do. I just recognize that there are commonalities here. That should be an abstraction. Alrighty, let's uh, get to abstracting that. So we're gonna extract a field by control RF in the resharper, and we're gonna make it a constant. And it is the pizza price. <clears throat> um, I could just do price, but then it complains, ah, it's the same thing as method name, can't do that. So I just do uh, that. I don't want a variable. Thank you very much, though, for the uh, wrong key combination. All right, we're going to, again, make it a constant. It's family pizza. That's not really what I want it to be called. I want it to be called pizza description. I am off today. I am going, after this video, I'm going to take a break and see if I can get my head on straight because it is not on straight right now. <clears throat> That and then Control Shift R with Resharper brings up this wonderful Resharper this menu. And we're going to go down to Extract Class. What I actually do is just hit the E key as an echo. That gives me this wonderful Extract Class dialog. Uh, this is just a pizza. Let's see what this is. I don't think this is actually going to do what I want. Uh, that's a concern I have. Extract class is pretty good. Uh, sometimes it gets funky depending on how you define the constants it's using. So let's look at this. Let's see what it does. All right, family pizza is a new pizza. Yeah, no, that that totally didn't do what I wanted it to. Let's try that again. Oh, yes, thank you. Uh, I'm sure somebody was screaming at me that. I did extract class, not extract super class. Thank you for whoever was screaming that at me. Uh, but I didn't hear you. So, all right, let's see what happens. Yep, we got some access problems. Yeah, so it, 
It didn't do what I like. It it didn't do things I liked. So let's let's try something else here. Whoops. Go back. <laughs> <clears throat> it's really important to learn to use your tools. We're going to initialize this from the constructor. I'm going to make it read only. Once we learn to use our tools, we can end up going much, much faster. Now, I got to futz around a bit uh, to figure out how to do this correctly. But once I get it, the next time I need to, I will be much more effective. So we have our constructor. That's kind of weird. Let's see what happens. Family piece. Okay. Yeah, we don't want to. We don't want to pull down the constructor. So we want just. Oh, because I was on the constructor. That's why I was uh, asking for it. And we'll just call it a pizza. Yeah, some stuff not accessible. All right, it is uh, not helping us right now. Uh, honestly, I don't know how to get it to extract that correctly. Uh, <sighs> yes, I do. Come on, let, I have an idea. I have an idea. Let's let's, let's try this. We're going to do another constructor, and we're going to do a string price and a string description, and we're going to chain this to take. So I got to do some hard uh, hand coding here, which is risky, and I really don't like doing it. But uh, yeah, let's see. Now, yeah, Robin, test failing. Which is yay, okay, failing test. Um, that, and it fixed my family pizza issue there. So I'm gonna fix this. Yeah, yeah, pass the failing test. All right, let's look at this. And all right, what happens now? Now. If we try to extract the super class, I would do want this constructor. I want this price and this description. So, yeah, some things won't work right. We're doing that. We're going to base. I don't know why it didn't pull these. I know why I didn't pull these in because I didn't tell it to pull these in. Okay, R S. All right, and we want you and you and you and you and you. So all you have left is this simple constructor. Boop. Yes, make it read only because I didn't do that before. Get distracted. Make these extraction bodies because I can. Let me actually switch this around. So sometimes we gotta tweak it to be able to get it to do what we want. Fantastic. Help me see tour. Is going to do that nine monies and personal pizza, pizza, personal pizza. Um, delete you. So, I, I've done a massive amount of refactoring that I shouldn't. Um, wow, just doing stuff, and I, I want to bring down pizza. Kind of jumping around a bit, so. Let's go ahead and uh, do that a little bit better this time. I don't want to rename related cycles. It, it found a match and it's like, yeah, hey, I can get rid of this other name for you. No, I don't want you to get rid of the other name. I want it exactly like it is. Okay. Again, pairing is fantastic. Control KD will kind of slightly re orient everything and now we have an abstract class all our tests are passing let's actually commit this I did a bit more than I should have I should have committed after each little step 
tiny commits is the ideal thing. Tiny, tiny commits. Uh, this, how many lines is this? Doesn't tell me. Um, more than eight, more than eight. All right, let's go ahead and do, it's a refactoring. It, it's probably considered approval. I'm gonna do arc colon though. I did a lot. No, it's provable. Maybe. Let's see what two says. Provable refactorings. You can pause this right and read this if you run out of time. Um, or should it be test? I'm going to do art. It's a test supported procedural refactoring. Yeah, okay, well, not quite. Uh, <sighs> I don't have that. All right, fine. Uh, if applied, this commit will extract abstract pizza class. Um, both and personal pizza have been refactored to consent to use to inherit here from pizza class. All right. There we go. And we're far enough along that uh, we'll be back next time.